after your panchakarma your body is going through a recovering stage because you're putting the body through a little bit of stress because first of all there will be a lot of emotional stress because you've been used to certain food you've been used to certain habits suddenly there is a shift in that and because once you come to the retreat within 2 3 days you'll be sleeping at a particular time soon after the sunset you'll be eating food early and and regularly and so this transition is quite stressful for the body because let's say a kid he was used to get whatever he wants and suddenly he is put into a discipline there will be some tantrums that the kid will do same way the body will also do some tantrums because of the withdrawal symptoms because the body has been so spoiled by whatever it wants and suddenly the body has to go through a stoic disciplined way of living so after that and same way when you get back through that period the body will have some ups and downs with its energy and you are putting the body through a purification process and after that you need some time to recover from that so certain doctors prescribe at least equal number of days of your panchakarma should be invested in your recovery but in my experience you don't need to invest the same number of days so let's say you come for 2 weeks you don't have 2 weeks because it's uh, already 2 weeks is a lot of time of your precious time but if you are very focused on your health if you prioritize health and health and vitality is your priority then definitely this is will be a very good time for you so usually after 2 weeks when you go back i highly recommend at least 4 to 5 days minimize any high intensity workloads from your job or anything with family try to space it in a way that